Hello everyone, Science Viking here. As you can see, I'm at the end of level screen for the Siege of Madrigal. And let's begin the next level. Monday, September 15th, outskirts of Tyr. The battle for Madrigal lasted four days without pause. Shiva fell on the first night in a spectacular dream duel with Rabican, one of the nine. No one expected this. We have never before challenged one of the fallen and won. But the truth behind the victory is stranger than any of the rumors. Apparently the nine found the severed head of one of Balo's enemies from the old days, buried out in the desert under several tons of sand and rock, and managed to start talking to the thing. Balo is the power behind the fallen lords, and we figure his enemy is our friend. They say that the head had an old score to settle with Shiva, and told Rabikum that her one weakness was vanity, and showed him how to exploit it. The head appears to know something about everything, and now it has us looking for an artifact called the Total Codex. It's been located in the ruined city of Covenant, but the first group sent to retrieve it has not returned. In a few minutes, Rabikum himself is going to send a few of us through a world knot to Covenant, to bring back the Codex. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the first group's fine and definitely not in several pieces. Also, really cool description of a uh, epic battle. I wish we could have maybe, I don't know, played that. <laughs> okay, okay, to be fair, the last level was a pretty good level. And actually, there is a fan made. Um, basically extension of the game that includes the, uh, that basically is the battle that was just described to us in the level intro. Okay, stop the dwarves from blowing up everything. We want them to only blow up things that aren't on our side. Okay. And let's get out of here for our last unit who's going to appear. Yes, sir. And okay, we have a journeyman for this level. level. Let's go. That's nice. Sir? Also, for whatever reason, this is actually fairly common, but the journeyman is the only unit that is allowed to carry the codex. So, if we don't get the codex from, uh... So if the journey the journeyman has to survive. If he dies, we lose the level. Because we need him to carry the artifact. This happens a lot, and it's almost always journeymen that are the only unit type that's allowed to carry whatever the magic thingy we're collecting this time is. Got him. I mean I suppose it sort of makes sense because journeymen are one of the harder units to lose. Being both durable and having healing abilities and being a unit that you want to actively protect. Also, this is one of the, another unusual thing, this is one of the few levels in this game where the number of units you start with is not only odd, but prime. Yes, sir. Starting with 17 warriors. Oh, anyway. I'm gonna quick start us up a fresh recording file before I continue with this level. Just gonna have this guy stand still for a second. I said stop. You too. Anyway, back in a second. Alright, got a lovely fresh recording file, and I can access the Steam community by holding down Shift and Tab at the same time. I never knew that. And let's get moving. Also, I don't remember if I mentioned this before, there is actually a fan-made uh, single-player level that actually is the battle that was described in the narr in the intro to this level. It's actually really fun. I might show it off sometime on the channel. Another interesting thing you can notice, you may notice that the warriors and archers are not all wearing the same outfits. Sir? The guy, so, for instance, one of this warrior is wearing a mostly green outfit, a green and brown outfit. So is this warrior. And notice that both of them don't have any missions survived. They just have one shield, which means they've killed one enemy. They don't have any of the... Um, these, which indicate that they've survived a mission. The units that you get are wearing different uniforms in some missions. I don't know why. I don't know why they chose to do that, but they did. 
and however, it will remember which uniform a, sol a unit was wearing in the level that they joined you and keep them wearing that uniform for the rest of the game. So if you start on this level without uh, having done any previous levels, then all of your units will be wearing these green and brown outfits. Now, since I didn't have enough veterans to fill out the sure. entire team, there are a few entirely new units, and they're wearing the green and brown outfits. But the rest are wearing the outfits from previous levels. Also, yes, those were whites. Um, I guess the previous team weren't all wiped out. Let's go help them out. This also means there's going to be some fighting when we get here. Things do appear to be going badly for the other team. Though they are causing some damage. Let's see if we can get our guys in there before the other side before the other team is completely exterminated. I'm not sure we'll manage it. Looks like we didn't manage to save the other team, but we can at least wipe out these enemies. And this ruined building? This is the cathedral that the journeyman was talking about in the beginning of the level. So the codex is in here. Alright. Not entirely sure where those casualties came from. Especially, well, I, I know where the first one happened. It's this guy. But that second casualty, I'm not sure who died. I mean, it has to have been a warrior because they're the only thing. I'm missing two warriors. Alright. Okay. Sending the warriors in. Ready. Another thing that you can take advantage of, the enemy's formation is seriously messed up, which allows the warriors to take the enemy on a few guys at a time, rather than trying to fight them all at once. This makes it relatively easy to overwhelm them. And I am going to quick heal some guys, because it's always in your best interest for more of your units to survive. Casualty. I say as one of my warriors dies. No, no, no. Casualty. Crap. Casualty. Okay. Okay, that went less than well. Casualty. We're moving. I'd say on the whole, this has gone less than well. Yes. Stand clear. Hey, move it. Hey, step aside. Stand clear. Hey, move it. Hey, step aside. Especially since we also lost a dwarf. This is what happens when I try to record when I'm tired. I mean, we're still gonna win this. We can still win this mission with what we have, but... Uh... Yeah. Oh. Hold fire. So they will complain about... It's over here. Yeah. 
I'm gonna quick do some healing first. You lose control of the journeyman once he rec once he picks up the codex. So I want to do all of the healing that I'm gonna do before I. Uh... Okay, journeyman, your pathfinding is not very good. All right. Now that we got that. Out of now that we've got that fact established. Sir. Let's quick stitch everybody back together. And that was all of his heals. Except, these root things that you can see on the ground here are the heals that were possessed by the previous journeyman who went with the previous team. We can pick them up. A surviving journeyman can pick up the individual... They're mandrake roots is what they are, according to the fluff. But a surviving journeyman can pick up the mandrake roots belonging to a journeyman who has been killed. All right, let's quick heal up the last two guys yes. who are injured before we get out of here. On my way. Ready. All right. All right. And now that everybody's healed, you can go grab the uh, codex. All this for a library book. Yes, sir. Seriously. Yes, sir. I've yes, got sir. it. Now we We're must moving. flee. And see, now he's blue, which means he's still on our side, but we can't control him anymore. Yes. Yeah, the warriors really got the worst of it, though unfortunately I also lost my hero dwarf. That's okay, he was always trying to steal everybody else's spotlight anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. And yep, we just keep walking out. We will be ambushed, obviously, as we head this way. The journeyman... So yes, this has become an escort mission. Fortunately, the journeyman's AI is actually pretty good. Also, these goals are slightly unusual, though they're a kind of goal that we'll be encountering more often. You see that? He just threw something. Look out! The enemy is near. Yeah, get back here. What they're throwing are the same shrapnel that whites are full of. Pus packets. Stand clear. Yes. Right away. They normally cause a stun effect, just like the whites themselves do. However, journeymen are immune to both the stunning effect of white of white explosions and the stunning effect of pus packets. I think one of the level hits from Myth 2 said that it was the journeyman's, like, thick coat that somehow protects them. I don't... Like, the thick robe that... And that's my other dwarf. Wonderful. The, the thick robe that the journeymen are wearing somehow protects them from that effect. But that was never mentioned in the first game. But either way, journeymen are essentially are immune to the stunning effect, but they still take the same damage that everything else does. It can still be useful, since journeymen also have quite a bit of health and obviously can heal themselves, to have them restore, uh, to have them show up and take the hit from the pus packets if the goals are carrying them, so that the uh, so that your other units don't get hit with them, and then have your warriors rush in and finish off the goals. Because if those pus packets had hit my warriors, that would have been a serious problem. Anyway, the exit's right here. That should be the last of the fighting. So, like I said, we did win. <laughs> just with a few casualties. Just a few. Just, just, um... Okay, we only lost 37% of our forces. No big deal. We only lost just a little more than a third of our guys. That's... We'll be fine. And you can see my own units are starting to turn blue because they're effectively exiting the level. As When units get close to the yeah. level exit, their allegiance changes from yellow to blue so that you sure. can no longer control them. And that is the end of that. Damage ratio less than 2 to 1. We took quite a bit of damage. Got a pretty good number of kills, though. Most of my heroes are archers. I'm not surprised by that. All of my... <laughs> the two archer heroes I got in the first level are still alive. Well, though, given the fact that we lost a third of the... Or no, given the fact that we lost, yeah, about a third of the warriors and all both of the dwarves. The three is because... 
for some reason the dwarves from the first team are counted in this. I don't know why. But um, whether or not it counts allied units that you don't directly control among your survivors is a little inconsistent. So, for instance, we have three dwarves, one of whom has to have been part of the original team, but we only have one journeyman when we know there was a journeyman who was part of that team. So, I don't know how that's decided. Overall, we won, but I'd say that went less than well. Anyway, hopefully the next level will turn out a little better. In the meantime, this is Science Viking, signing off. And, as usual, I love you all, and I'll see you next time.